Good evening, friends and fiends. Tonight, Mommy is going to show you all the toys that didn't quite make the cut at the Playtime Co. factory. Most of them are after my own heart. There's plenty of stretching and squishing and squelching and sliming and other happy, playful noises, too. This isn't a side of things we usually show, and things tend to get a little messy. And Mommy hates the mess. So grab your gloves, goggles, and any other safety equipment, like it'll help, and join me on this tour of rejected toys, if you dare. <laughs> oh, one of Mommy's favorite experiments is up first. The oodly noodlies are so very stretchy and bouncy. The oodlies inherit a lot of the long leg stretch, for which they will always have a very small space in Mommy's heart. They've been able to withstand extreme amounts of stretching tests in the facility, too. Yet they always bounce back, like worms. They just can't stand on their own feet, which is useless for chasing the children. <sighs> Mommy loves the sound of oh so many scrambling legs. You better run. Would you like to play a game with Mommy? Oodly noodly cat's cradle is always a scream. <laughs> Fine. I have other games we can play. Mommy loves how much these bend and twist, and it doesn't really hurt them at all. Right, dears? They can twist themselves up into all sorts of impossible shapes. Mommy is so, so very proud of them. Almost. So beautiful. Mommy wants to show you how lovely they can be all twisted together. Don't worry, sweeties. It will all be over soon. Oh, that was very difficult. But you tried. Back to your shelf now. A drum roll, please, for our next design. They're a bit shaky. 
Oh, these itsy bitsy stretchy squishies have a bit of the jitters. Which is precisely why they are unsuitable. They even light up when they get nervous. Poor dears. They can squish into any space. Get out of their ears, please. I'm glad to see you've calmed down some. Aren't you two just inseparable? Too bad. They've definitely inherited the infamous long leg stretch. So many itsy bitsy legs. All the better to chase you with, my dear. Isn't that right? Mommy's little stretchy, squishy, spidey whitey. Don't their eyes just say squeeze me? Oh, so cute. They can stretch and squish right into your heart. Isn't their smile cute? Oh, wait. They don't have one anymore. Someone's were talking a bitty bit too much to the children. But don't they just look so happy? Quiet, you don't know what pain is. It's okay, it's okay. Go to sleep. Hush, 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 hush. This next experiment has serious attachment issues. They never did grow out of their sticky face. I'm sure they'll have their uses. Everything does. Oh, it's okay. It will all be over soon enough.
And of course there are just so many of them. The production machines were accidentally left on. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. They're just more to love. They also like to nest in the ears. That's enough green. Maybe one day these will shine, but they were rejected. They were just too clingy. Sounds squishy, though. Almost like they've already been pulverized in the machine. <laughs> oh. Mommy's next show and tell experiment is so, so, so very nearly perfect. But it's not. It's sturdy at times and extremely flexible and bendable and everything a long leg should be. But it breaks. How disappointing. Oh well, there are other toys to show you, but Mama's not quite done with this one. It broke. So stretchy. It's after Mommy's own heart, of course. It broke. It's oh so very compact, too. This one really did break Mommy's heart, which is why she's reluctant to put it back away in storage. So very nearly perfect. So very nearly indeed. Too bad it keeps on breaking.
Next on Mommy's reject list might look very familiar to fans of Dear Huggy Smile. We had to go through a few versions of this, of course. The material had to be flexible and be airtight. And be able to withstand all those rows and rows of sharp, sharp teeth they have. Such a beautiful smile. Dazzling. This material just wasn't tough as nails enough. I do love the sound. So hollow and soothing and soulless. Mommy's next experiment is another disappointment. All the ingredients were right, it just has no will to stand up for itself. Production even started on a range of colors before we found out what a failure it was. What a Sure, it's goopy and it stretches, but it also breaks. And Mommy hates things that break.
it broke. No backbone to speak of. So now it just sort of languishes on its own in the storeroom. All alone. Well, not alone, all the other rejected toys are there too. And the noise! It wouldn't do to send them sneaking after the children to, uh, surprise them! It's okay, mommy is just going to tuck you in. Mommy is excited to share a truly delightful reject with you now. The squish. The sounds. Like thousands of bones breaking in jello made of tears. Strawberry flavored, of course, if you must know. Stretch, such a good squeezy. Mommy doesn't remember why you didn't make the cut. Hmm, let Mommy check the notes. This toy has no eyes to see or mouth to eat. But it is perfect for brain materials. It's suggested to use light agitation often to keep the thoughts flowing.
We don't like to talk about this next one very often. Consider it a prototype of a prototype of a prototype. It's always anxious. Don't be scared, dear one. And likes to get in your ears to complain. It's unmotivated on its own. Poor creature can't walk well, even though it has many, many legs. But there is something charming about it. That was, uh, extracted for future projects. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Let's have a little party to celebrate the end of our tour. That's about all this is good for. Pity parties. This experiment is very suitable for decoration. It's so light and flexible. Why, it could cover a whole warehouse. The only itty bitty problem is it sorta of dissolves in blood and tears, I mean in water, and doesn't know how to stand on its own two legs or get itself out of a tangle. And mommy can't always be there to untangle its mess, please. See what a mess this made. Better tidy up. Less mess is best. Poor darling, it's only got an itsy bit of mommy's stretch. It tried so hard, but it just wasn't enough. Easily broken. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tour.
I have a tendency towards the spooky and creepy, but it's mostly comfy and cozy. With over 100 fairy tales in the mix too. Please subscribe for more sounds and stories. Sweet dreams. Now, off to sleep and dream what you will, or stay a while and enjoy another sound, spell, or tale. Whichever you choose, I'll speak to you again, and until then, sweet dreams, my friend. Good night.